Hello guys, welcome back to this new video. In this video, I will be explaining how to animate. I will show you how to do it in Blender. The first thing, first thing you want to do is grab yourself a model. And some of you might take a step in the dark now. Because, well, what is a model? And how the heck do you get Fortnite models inside of Blender? It's, it's hard to explain. Fortnite basically disabled this method uh, just a while ago when they released the 14.30 update. And uh, the thing that used to used to provide us with uh, Fortnite models is now not supported anymore. So it's, it's called the U-Model and you can basically slide it into the game's files and it will extract the game's files. So model, meshes, textures for you. <coughs> but it's pretty much disabled now. You can still get it and there are tutorials on how to do this on YouTube. Uh, I think it's, uh, the guy is called U Gilder and he has a Patreon. You can pay for it for the beta version of uh, the new UE4 uh, extractor. So if you really want to extract Fortnite models, I'll just leave this model in, in the description below. Uh, you can uh, go ahead, I'll, li I'll leave the link to you Gilder's paid Patreon page in the link below as well. You can go ahead and click that. Okay, let's move on to the video. Okay, so let's start off by importing one of our models. I use this program for animation, others use this for animation, even though there's not a lot of people out there that actually use animation, so that's why I am doing an, an animation tutorial. So uh, how to get this model, you're gonna have to look that up. I'm not sure if you can find any a way, because well, uh, Fortnite kind of disabled support. Okay really important step you want to take right before you start animating. You want a reference. You don't need a reference, but references help out a lot. So what we'll do is go to the movie clip editor, open, and if you have a reference downloaded or you record yourself doing something, just uh, throw that clip in there. There we go. Now let's line that view up. Move these annoying bars and let's see so we're doing a roll today and I want to start at about frame 17 so let's start at frame 17 now before we begin uh, animating is really taxing it takes a lot of your time so just be aware that it takes a lot of time I like to change this to timeline or just may I change this to timeline with not this please thank you and not this it just kind of helps me I, I graph editor is very nice at certain points but right now you really don't want to be looking at all those keyframes okay so we are going to try to match these bones up a bit let's see we don't want to be using IK at the moment so we will disable that if you don't know how to set up IK and what in, or even what it is, IK basically makes cal calculates for you how the arm should move when you move the hand. So that's handy if you want to, for example, put the hand on a chair and then you shake the model up and down or just do this. But we don't want to be using that right now because the, the arm ca can look a bit disconnected. Uh, okay, so. Uh, you want to enable this auto keying feature because you're going to need that and you don't want to be setting keyframes all the time. It's really annoying and you want to be setting this to local. I have the wrong bone. Let's hide that. I don't want to be clicking on that all the time. Hide that one as well. Okay, let's see. What we want to do is a block out. So basically at any point in, in time, you would just want to set a keyframe where you think it's most important to set a keyframe. And that's why we are going to start off by using, uh, what do we call it? Constant interpolation. Uh, we will set that to Bezier curve because we do not want to do frame by frame animation. That is going to take too much time. You don't want to be doing that. It's basically how Pixar animates it well, and it's how Pixar, yeah, 
I'm, not, I'm going to start talking, stop talking and start animating, holy shit. Okay, let's see, this guy is standing like this, about that way, and arms a bit relaxed, so pull those clavicles down a bit. Oh yeah, and before I did all this, I put a keyframe on every single bone, because you want to be using a lot of bones, and well, yeah. Let's see, okay, so for the legs, you do want to keep that IK on for a while. So when he basically lifts his right there, when he lifts his legs up right before he does that roll, uh, you want to turn that off so that the legs turn with the cent center of mass, which is going to be the pelvis. Well, it's not going to be the pelvis, but basically going to be the pelvis. And you don't want weirdly moving legs, don't you? Do ya right there? Maybe move down the pelvis a bit so that it doesn't look that weird. Okay, pretty relaxed pose. If you ask me, make him look down a bit. Okay, so one thing I do not want is to animate this goddamn cape. That's going to be for another time. So uh, we'll just hide that with the shape key. Wonk, be gone. I do not want to be animating cloth simulation. We can do that with simulation later. So, um, let's see. Uh, he basically has his hands in the right position. Okay, so this is our first frame. Let's see what frame is important next. Uh, I think this looks about right. So, um, his this foot is still right there. This foot is about as far as it gets so let's put that frame right there uh yeah that frame right foot right there turn you around oh my god i think i messed up my ik model thingy a bit let me fix that inverse kinematics there we go beautiful okay so this foot at that moment is about position like that and we are going to go global to position that foot a bit better and uh, it looks like there this one we want to be like that uh, this foot is still on the goddamn ground or made one step let's see he is really sticking his air ass out so about right there and we are going to move this arm like that global local thingy we want to move this clavicle up a bit right there wow he really okay wait so he turns his spine part of his spine a little bit just like that this and then his other arm so this is one of those problems where i just stop talking randomly and that's just because my uh, internal short-term memory thingy in my head just doesn't work very well so uh i can't th th that basically means that i can't multitask so uh apologize i i apologize in advance if it doesn't work out that well so uh, basically what i'm doing here is lining up the pose to the reference. You know what? That looks beautiful. We want to set a keyframe for all these bones. Wait, let's hide this because we do not want these to be in front of our sight when we are animating useful bones. God damn it. There we go. Hide the shit out of them. All right. Now that we've set a keyframe for all the bones, we want to set another keyframe right there. Let's see what happened. Okay, so he this is about where he places his foot. Um, okay, let's see. Right there. Okay, so his pelvis moves forward a bit to about there. I think, yeah. Now I'm probably going to speed this up a bit because uh, it, you you get I hope I hope you get the you get the idea of how you do this. You basically line up it line up at certain keyframes at, at certain points on the timeline. You line up the pose of your reference 
You can do this without a reference, but you know, this is way, way more realistic. You miss, you don't miss a lot of the details and it's just more convenient. Okay, let's see. You know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going to... Mm. Right, okay. Now we get, are getting to a point where we going to where we are going to have to disable the IK for the feet and enable the IK for the hands. So I basically chose this role so that we could get the perfect so that we could utilize every single part of the human body. IK rig. Yes. Let's keep moving before I cringe myself to death. Move those feet a little bit, like that. Amazing. Oh, would you look at that? Beautiful. Okay, so we're getting to the point where we have to line up these feet to move. So, okay, so the left feet, the left foot, only uh, already releases its IK at this frame and the right foot comes about three frames frames later um, so this is where we're going to press I on the influence on the IK and lower this right there and now we're going to have to match this up so I know there's way better ways to do this okay let's see where did right there uh, I know there's better ways to do this but you know I don't have the time to rig characters all the time so here is the easy way okay so we're lining these up just like that how did we move them back then i just noticed this foot is weird let's save that uh we want that pull angle at this point we oh at this point we want it to be this nope at this point we want it to be this at this point we want it to be like this this point also like this uh, so that we can match it up easily okay so we're going to have to turn the goddamn leg oh fun fun animation uh, it's a lot of fun I mean that looks good enough and we're going to have to mo move the foot anyway so Let's do that. Yes, okay. And we will put a keyframe for everything right there. And at this point, the pelvis is gonna be moved up even more. We can fix the animation later on if it doesn't work that well. So put a keyframe on this influence as well. And I think we're good for the next frame, which is going to be lining up this foot again, uh, because we're going to disable this. Okay, beautiful. Now let's keyframe everything again. And we're going to find the moment where the hands are going to meet the ground. Now as you can see, I'm not doing any fingers right now. That's something you want to do later on. 
Now let's find this IK hand, okay, R, and put it right there. And we're going to, and this one as well, we're going to see where to put them and where to get the angle exactly right. Um, mm -mm. These are the poles for the arms. Now that we have this, we're going to apply the animation keyframes for everything and enable our beloved IK thingy right here. I enable. And we are going to have to line this shit up again. So let's see. And then, oh wait, at this point we need to enable the other IK thingy as well. So where is that? Is it this, is it this, is it this, is it this. Where the hell is my other IK? Oh, there it is. Uh, so this one is going to be on for then, but we want to line this shit up again. Okay, so let's add a plane so we can see we can see the ground. Beautiful, amazing. Now, at this point, the body has turned pretty aggressively. That looks about right. And oh my god, okay. And let's keyframe that again. All everything is keyframed now. Uh. Let's see, let's grab another another good point to put another keyframe down. Uh, we are going to turn this right like that. Amazing. I think that looks convincing enough. See, this is why IK is amazing. It just calculates everything for you. It, it looks pretty much the same as the goddamn reference. So we just have to line up the feet a bit. Uh, oh wait, the patel pelvis turns. Actually, so let's do that as well. If that doesn't look like a Roll to you, I don't know what does. Now that we're going to set every single keyframe. Right. Oh wait, let's position this a bit more. Good enough. Okay, let's move on. Next. Okay. This is the point where we're going to have to disable the IK for the hands again. Okay, so that it doesn't trip out and that we don't get an annoying hey, kitty. animation bug. Okay, let's see what's the different between difference between these points. So at this point, the Mandalorian has moved its butt like the usual and landed its shoulder on the ground. Now this is a bit weird because he has a pauldron and okay we want to move this IK hand at this point because it's getting in the way. Oh okay that doesn't that doesn't look very um, comfortable. So Let's 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 move you for a bit right there. Does that feel <laughs> does that feel better? <laughs> okay. Goddamn fake ass bones. What are you doing in my rig? Get the fuck out. Okay, at this point the legs have been depressed because gravity still plays a role in this world. Okay, so let's see. Um these bones are curved more 
Um, okay. That means that it's that he is lower, and that means that we're going to have to do some back shit, and I do not like doing back shit. Because why do you need bones in your back anyway, right? I mean, we are all... I mean, yeah, snakes do have bones. But it would be so nice if we could just be boneless. Where are my hand poles when you need them? Is, are these my hand poles? No, don't tell me these are my hand poles. Where are my hand poles? Leg. Are these the hand poles? No, right? What? Okay. I guess we'll move these a bit and this one so that it looks just a tad more comfortable bruh I think he broke his well his shoulder a bit here um let's try to fix that no 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 okay let's not try to fix that or let's do try to fix that but just in another way. Oh, I completely broke his arm, didn't didn't I? Amazing. Beautiful. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, so this is, this is where um we release our our I keys again and switch back to the F keys. Now how am I going to do this without messing the shit out of it up? Um so Well, does that not <laughs> look beautiful? I mean, it does somewhat look good, but you know, we're going to have to animate the rest of the frames because we're not done yet. So when his foot hits the ground, we're going to enable it again. So put a keyframe right there, keyframe right there where we enable it. And now we're going to have to f look for A. We got it in a single try. Now that's poggers. And we are going to have to line that shit up. Okay, let's move a bit forward. So this is the point where we are going to improvise. This is a sort of, uh, so he's been rolling like this. Like that, and we're going to make him stand up and shoot. So uh, basically, we want him at, at this point. We want him to stand. Alt rotate, and basically uh, A uh, except for this one. Alt G. No, 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 no. Alt G. And. The Mandalorian at this point has a blaster aimed at something or someone. And I set up a funny constraint that basically tells that basically tells oh my god. That that, that is basically going to tell <laughs> that this little revolver thingy is going to have to be in this hand. So let's do that. Whoa, what the hell? Wonk! <laughs> I think the pelvis messed up here. Okay, so at this point, I want him to grab his blaster. So what we're going to have to do for that is slightly alter the animation we made before and make him grab his blaster. Okay, so I'm not sure how much you missed, but we pretty much deleted a few keyframes in the pelvis uh, 
so that the animation could calculate itself and make it look a bit smoother. So we right now we have this, and I know the arm animation is a bit loose or just a bit slow, so we're going to fix that right there. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, we are going to fix up those arms a little bit. Because we haven't done those. Uh, let's see. Um, this one is going to move a bit like this. Well, this one we are... So we're going to remove the unnecessary uh, frames. And let's make sure we don't have any... Oh, we don't have any clipping like that. Well, we do get some clipping with the pauldron. But hey, you can do any... You can do everything right right okay let's see if we can fix that scuffed pelvis movement at the start because we do not have any okay pelvis good enough let's do those hands those arms these stay in the same position for about a few frames. And that counts for this one as well. At this point, we are still right here. With the arm bent a little like this. And this hand... You know what? Let's do a, some of that finger animation. Okay, so he turns his arm a bit, I think. Okay, sometimes when you're animating, you just get this feeling. You just keep want to look at what you just made. And I have that right now. And that's the best feeling you could have. Okay, this has been the animation tutorial. I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope I didn't screw up too many times so uh i can finally upload this i've been working on this for so long and i keep messing it up every time i try to talk it doesn't work so well uh see ya guys see ya what the fuck am i doing